What is it? That big old, just something big just jumped way over there. Sweet, what a beautiful morning. What is going on, my friends? Welcome to a little fishing adventure with the ancient. And we are out here bright and early. The sun hasn't even come over the horizon. And we have come to this fishing spot. Never been here when it's flooded. I've actually never, never seen this lake when it's flooded. But we got a bunch of trees in front of us. You see how smooth it is? Fish jumped right there. Fish jumping all over. We've seen birds out already. It should be a fantastic morning. My dad took the first cast of the day. What did, what did you get? I got a, a big old walker. A big old top water. I don't know whether to go with a bladed jig or a top. You know, you got the top water. I'm going to go with the... Oh man, but the buzz bait looks good. Oh yeah. So you got that walking bait. Gosh, the buzz bait seems like it would be eeny meeny miny mo. You know, I gotta go with the bladed jig. Oh, I love the first part of the morning. I forgot to say first cast of the day. Oh, oops, I cast it in the tree. That's interesting because there's a nice bottom here. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the bottom around this spot be interesting if as the sun gets high we can come back here and kind of fish off the points a little bit if there are any fish oh Look at this. what Look at first Look fish what Look at that. That first bass. fish of the day that bass is not any bigger. I, I feel like bait. I need a picture of that, even though. <laughs> right. Ooh, he's not going to yeah, make it. Not He'll be one of those that catch when he's 10 pounds. Yeah. And he doesn't have Be like, eye. I live to tell about there it. There you go. There you go. It's it, literally smaller. Than, yeah. Or, well, wow. maybe about well, the same size. Well, with the hooks, yeah, it's the same size. There you, there go. you go. First fish. Nice pups. <laughs> <laughs> So the only bite I've gotten on a bladed jig is something biting off the tail. So I'm switching to this chartreuse one. We're just fishing fast, folks, covering lots of water. Just scared minnows on that cast. That's always a good sign. That's so cool, this sun burning off the mist. Like a bug hatch. Got one, nice. Papa draws second blood. I guess if they can count that other one. <laughs> oh, a spotted bass yeah. on a worms. Okay, maybe I'm fishing too fast because I haven't gotten any bites on it. And yet. it was slow too. I mean, I had gotten a little bit of a backlash, so I was taking the backlash out. Uh huh. There you go. Nice little spot. Yeah. Well, that's interesting on a soft plastic. Unless I get one to really wallop this top water. One thing I like about the skitterwalk guys, it has one big like ball in it that doom, 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 as opposed to rattles. And I think fish like that doom, doom, the, the thump more than they like rattles. Whoa, 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 right by the boat. Whoa. No. Oh, on a crankbait, yeah. <laughs> a spotted bass. What is with us and spotted bass lately? That's pretty cool. Let me get us away from shore. Boy, he, either he followed it up or he was suspended. That's the first fish I've ever caught on that crankbait. You know, just in case, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep this one. I just got this crankbait, guys. Uh, it's a uh, red ear sunfish. Did you have one? Mm, I'm not sure. Something's swimming off of it. Yep. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Some ancient, we may have just stumbled upon a good spot here. Anyway, isn't that a beautiful looking crankbait? Looks just like a red ear sunfish. The water is uh, way clearer than we were both expecting, guys, um, because it's been raining a lot. And so I assumed when I was tying on baits last night, it was going to be muddy. And when we got here, I thought I have to tie on some natural stuff. Whoa, again, right by the boat. Like, almost under the boat. And another spot. That is crazy, guys. That little porker. That's cool. So what, are they hanging out under the boat? Really? Like, maybe they like the shade of it or something. They're just kind of swimming along with us on that cranker again. 
A lot of bass are so pretty. I got one. Again on, boy, this is, crankbait was a good switch. Another spotted bass. Look how he ate it head first. Good grief. Did he want that? Tried to eat it. <laughs> I've caught more spotted bass this year on this lake than ever before, like, my whole life. You do? Whoa. 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 Tell grub. Grub, dry creek out there. <laughs> Oh, nice. You switched to your favorite. Yes, indeed. Nice small That's what I caught the six and a half pounder on, my oh, man. Good. Yes, indeed. There you go. Nice. Sweet. Nice go. small lake. Guys, we're talking about leaving. And, <laughs> That's uh, all you have to do is. Yeah, basically just start chatting about, about leaving. Yeah. There we go. Pretty fish. <laughs> when he came out, I thought he, he was did. monstrous. The way the, yeah. the water just moved. Yeah. <laughs> like that's a nice fish, though, pops. Pretty fish. Couple right. pounder. Oh, I better get on the trolling one. Yeah, I came over here to get in the shade. And uh, and then you doink one on the bluff wall. So check it out, guys. The spotted bass spit up four crawd at. Well, my friends, it's nice to be in a bit of shade on this warm August day. I have to say, a breeze has picked up, and it's just beautiful out here. Can't complain about the view, but uh, we still are looking for something tasty to eat. So, we'll see what we're going to do next. Sweet. Oh my God. All right, my friends, now for something completely different. We came to this river. I discovered this spot like three months ago, earlier in the summer. Uh, it's probably to still technically spring, actually. Beautiful river here. Has smallmouth for sure, bluegill, and I think some trout. We're in the mountains, as you guys can tell. And uh, we're going to see what we can catch here. You keep talking. I'm gonna go yeah, you go fit. My dad's going to throw a top water. I got to get my stuff ready. <laughs> He's eager. He's really eager. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do I want to start off with? I'm thinking maybe a tube or a spinner. Actually, I have an idea. I know I had some sort of plan here. This is, was sent to me by a subscriber. Has some special stuff in it. This is from Patrick Zampa. He sent me some seasonings and a lure here. This is a Joe's Fly, he says. I was uh, trying to find a bait you don't already have. <laughs> this is one of my favorite trout spinners. If you're fishing a lake or a deep river, I would highly recommend this lure. I would love to see it in a video. Guys, I know it takes a while for me to get to all the fan mail, but I try to get to, to as much as possible. Um, but anyway, that looks like a fabulous little spinner. Perfect. It's brown and, and it has a nice little trailer hook on it. It looks perfect for clear water. No bright colors, no blues or pinks or anything like that. Let's give that a shot. I'll show you guys the rest of what Patrick sent me in a bit. We'll use it for the cooking part. Oh, this looks wonderful. Huh. First cast of the day, folks. My dad had some slashes at the uh, at the top water, but nothing that wanted to eat it. Oh, I just saw a fish. Like, I saw the flash of a fish right there. We may have to catch a live crawdad and put him on a hook. That'd be pretty fun. A lot of minnows in the water. That's good. That's what this little fly spinning. Yeah, a lot of minnows right through here. In fact, Let's cast right there and bring it upstream. Oh, oh, there's a deer right there. Oh, it's a little fawn. Hey, dude. Oh, it's about like a teenage fawn, though. It's not a little, little fawn. Oh, you see him right there? 
Oh, there he goes. <laughs> we scared each other. I'm just walking through here, seeing what there is to see. Oh, got something. What do we got? Is this a trout? I think it's a trout. Uh, no, it's a sucker. A sucker. He came up and attacked it. First fish. It's a, uh, yeah, it's just like a chub or creek chub. It's crazy because he, he came up and attacked it. I thought it was a trout. Well, Patrick, there's a first fish on the bait you gave me. Thank you. He's got all three treble hooks in his mouth. And uh, I think I'm going to take him up here. Just use pliers. And we're going to keep them. Um, we've been trying so-called trash fish lately. Uh, at the di different places we've been traveling around to. And this looks like a perfect size for a little taste test of... I, I think it's just a big creek chub, carp, sucker, whatever. He's from that family. How'd you do? Not a thing. I usually had another small, but I think it might have been a trout. You might have had a trout on? Mm. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I didn't, didn't get that close enough. All right. Well, my friends, we are going to move to the next spot. That is not... As, it was not as successful here as I thought it was going to be, but maybe this is too obvious of a spot to fish. A tree, a tree has fallen down since we were here, since I was here last. Last time I was here, my friends, I was able to get down the road and it wasn't this treacherous. All right, my friends, we are upstream a little bit. My dad's gonna throw a little square bill crankbait. It's deeper. It's interesting how it's deeper up here. Keep with the spinner a little longer, but I do have some small soft plastics and stuff I wanna use as well. Hate to be missing out on a bunch of bites because I'm fishing too fast. I don't know, that might, might be the problem. Or it was just that spot was the obvious spot to fish. So everybody went there. Whereas this spot, we had to park and walk down. So maybe not ma as many people have fished this before. Whoa, got one. First cast. Oh, it's a it was a tiny little smallmouth, but still on the spinner. All right, let's get it out there. See what happens. Feels like I should fast retrieve here. There we go. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's it. Hey, got to cast upstream and bring it in front of their face. Oh yeah, nice little river smallie. Been a long time since I caught a river smallmouth. Man, he smoked it too. He just hammered it. Woohoo! That is a pretty fish. All right, pretty smallmouth. Pretty cool. Let him go. There he goes. This is kind of leech territory, I would say. It's about a six to eight inch mud bottom that you sink into. I'm thinking there'll be some leeches from this. There he goes. <laughs> I came up and grabbed it. Very cool. I got to see that one. That doesn't happen too often. Must have followed it a ways. That's fun. Very fun. <laughs> oh, very cool. There he goes. Sweet. This spot looks excellent. Look at that there's some sort of bug hatch. Oh, they're all dispersing. Look at that. Look at all the bugs there. You know the little fish love that. All right, my friends, I'm going to try this little tiny uh, fire tiger spinner. Just a little bright color, kind of fish it fast. I see a lot of little fish cruising around. I'm not sure what they are. They might be like rock bass. Got him. Got some little fish on the spinner. Oh, just a little smallie. Maybe that's what's been falling. I see a lot of little fish down there. Maybe it's just a bunch of babies. Maybe we're like in a nursery. Got him. A little fish on a spinner. What do I got? How? What do I got? I'm hoping for it's a smallmouth. Hoping for like a trout or a rock bass with this little spinner. Little smallmouth crushed it. 
Gonna probably have to get through a few of these before I get the desirable fish. Got him. Right when it hit. Man, that fish saw it falling from the sky and grabbed it. He was like looking for bugs already. Oh, another tiny smallmouth. Come on, man. Where's a trout? Give me trout. There's a creature. Oh, it's an otter. It's an otter, guys. That's, yeah. Oh, I thought it was a muskrat. It's a river otter. Yeah, oh man. That's so cool. I'm getting bit too. Oh, missed him. Missed him. Missed a fish. Saw an otter. You know what I gotta do? Gotta add scent. More scent. Trophy bass gel scent. This will get him to hang on. Got him. Swam upstream with it. See, I put on that scent. Oh, <laughs> it's a rather small one. But I put on that scent and he did not let go. Yes. Guys, that scent is magic. And I can still feel the slime of the scent on the bait. He did not want to let it go. Well, my friends, this uh, was a cool spot. But, um, yeah, good to know. Having back pocket. We're going to go to one more, though, before the sun goes down. Look at that quaint little house right, right on the railroad tracks. You know, back in the day, that was probably a big stopping point. All right, my friends. Last spot of the day, I think. All right, guys, we're the backpack. We're eating a couple fishing rods. Well, thank you, sir. We are going to try one last spot. You see where the, the sun is? Might be an evening bite. <laughs> <laughs> if they're going to be biting, it will be an evening, uh, no doubt. Wow. This is so beautiful. I, this is just uh, amazing. Uh, right easy. here. We just keep working our way up river, finding all these cool spots, trying them out. I love clear mountain water like this. Although that can contribute to fishing being slightly tough sometimes when it's this clear. We're trudging up to this sandbar because we want to fish right by that big boulder because there's this deep hole right in front of it. Just the kind of spot where a three pounder would hang out. Oh, this is a great spot for a date, you know? Have your own little beach, private beach, a swimming hole right here. It's not, I mean, it's not the most idealistic because you got like this grubby wood here but it's a possibility if you had an adventurous lady with you oh those hooks are sharp they got me look at this little finesse top water let's try a finesse top water you gonna oh, switch it up yeah i am i just switch up to this little top yeah, water there's a popper in there if you want want to okay. try it all right oh look at this beautiful evening my friends Top water away. Looks just like a lot of the little minnows I've been seeing in here. Right, whoa! Did you see that right on the corner of the boulder? <laughs> he was waiting. <clears throat> he was waiting for it. That looked like a nice fish too. Oh, I almost got snagged. Oh, he missed it again. Just totally missed it. Just knifed it. I don't know why he missed it twice. I need to get a follow-up bait in there. Because he ain't biting now. He bit it twice. Let's try using Patrick's. Patrick's uh, spinner. There we go. Right in the corner there. So despite our follow-up baits, and despite just a lot of fishing in general, we couldn't really pull anything out of this river except a bunch of little smallmouth. It really surprised us. We are hoping to do a lot better. 
but that is just the way it goes in fishing sometimes. So we decided to pack it in for the day and jump back in the boat. Yeah, there's like a line. Yeah, it's like a current line or something. Huh, it's like, guys, uh, so up ahead is a river. Oh, there's a guy fishing up there in the shallows. So guys, up ahead is a river and behind us is a lake. And the river is flowing pretty good right now because you see all of the debris in here and we're hoping that trout are up in here. So the lake has a lot of bass, crappie, catfish and all that. But if you go up this river, then oh, usually there are trout. All right, my friends, I am gonna start off with this little jerk bait. It's funny because I've been using a lot of the brown trout and rainbow trout colored ones, but I found that around this area, this green one has been superior for the rainbow trout so but we've heard we've that heard before. that for, and you caught that big one on a crankbait yeah, so right. oh i have a giant right behind it he's he's looking oh, that's a huge trout that is a giant he looked right at it guys there's like a 20 incher down there oh my goodness he was right around it i might need to switch colors because he was just looking at it might need to switch bait, switch colors. He, ne he never went for it. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess you got the line. You oh, got on my, your hat? Yeah, my hat, fortunately. Oh, Hold on just gosh. a second. We've got a, we've got a, yeah. I don't see any blood. No blood? Oh, there's a tiny little prick, but it's, yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry about no, that. No, that's fine. I, I, yeah. Oh, my goodness. A little scary, but all well and ends well. We're fine. Well, I don't know if we got that on camera or not, guys, but um, I just buried this in my dad's hat. And fortunately, you can see right there, it's in the thick part of his hat. Like this hat, you can see through it, but the hook got in the thick part of it instead of the thin. So, ha, you missed me. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, we've done that. It's been bad. We've had a couple of really bad hook accidents, casting hook accidents before. Been, been through all that before and that is horrible. Whew. Fortunately, we haven't had any eyes or anything like that. Like some people have had some major bad stuff, but uh, I'm gonna let your hat dry and then I'll give it back to you. Got one, oh, look at that, oh, oh, oh shoot! There he is right there, that's a nice fish, look at him. He swims right towards, a rainbow, rainbow trout guys. Right on this, on the rocky, I didn't even see that one. Oh man, just, did you see that leap in the air? That was very cool. Yes, that fish was in like a foot, foot and a half of water. Well guys, I mean, I'm uh, in baseball terms, I have two errors this morning. And we're only like 10 minutes into the morning. Got him? Got him? Yep. Nice. Hey, so I thought I saw some flicks over there. That's what I thought. I'm gonna cast as far as I can. Not a very big one, but we got a fish. Yeah, sweet. Come on. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. Oh. Okay. From yeah. now on, we get the yeah. net every. Yeah. I mean, it was so a small, small one, but like, yeah, it's like yeah. just the. Oh. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> wow. That's each. I have two errors. My dad has one. <laughs> You know, I thought about getting the net, and I was like, oh, it's just a small one. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that big trout over there. Two of them. Look how skittish they are. They are. Did they go behind us? It's funny, though. They let it, uh, they went off that way. It's funny, because I casted right by them on a couple casts. I just didn't know it, but I was bringing it, and they just weren't interested, I guess. There's a bunch of, oh wait, those might be carp. Oh, wait, wait, there might be a bunch of carp right here. Unless, are those? No. Yeah, those are like carp, or they're sucker fish. Uh, there's a whole school of them, like right here. Yeah, I think they're suckers. I was like, what the heck? How could we not get any? I cast it right over them. Oh, I've got a big one looking at it. Another big trout, big rainbow, but he didn't bite it. Man, that was a big one. I don't know what to do. Maybe we just need to switch to worms or something. I've seen now like eight big ones. All right, my friends, this is the juicy spot we really wanted to fish. Oh yeah, 
Just looks like Trout City. Oh, I think I just had one. I think I just had a bite. I got one. <laughs> oh, he's a tight, he's not super big, but first fish of the day. <laughs> Yes, nice. look, he has like a scar on his tail. And a little tiny panther merton there, guys. The uh, the black and yellow one is one of my favorites. All right, my friends. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, barely keeper size. <laughs> There's no size limit here. You know, let's do what we can call him. I'll, we'll just put him. I well, think, yeah, I think we. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the way, with the way this wind, <laughs> we need yeah, to. Yeah. I kind of was hoping for a bigger, well, and there's plenty of time, so hopefully we get a bigger one. We will hopefully call him, but like like my dad said, if the day, way this day has been going, we better not be too greedy. Chopper going by. Can't tell if it's military or not. I don't think so. All right. Finally got the skunk out of the boat. Speaking of trout, guys, check out the new, well, it's kind of new, Ace Trout shirt. Catch and cook trout. Bunch of cool colors, including this red one, and it's got the Ace logo in trout colors on the front. There are way bigger ones in here. I feel like we should live or die by the big ones. That's my that's my gut feeling. Before you, oh, he's lively and quick. He wasn't hooked bad, so he should be good to go. All right, there you go. There he goes. He was feisty. Let's live or die by a big one. A big mama. All right, my friends. After seeing lots of followers without many bites, we had a few. I've switched to night crawlers. My dad switched to night crawlers, and we're just gonna see if we can get some of these skittish trout to bite this way. I put a whole night crawler on too. Great big one. Fish on. Yep. On the worm? On that purple purple martin. Yeah, Panther Martin? Panther Martin. Oh, might might keep. Might keep. I'm gonna get the net. <laughs> I don't care what you do to me. Oh you might. There we go. Pretty one. Yeah. Pretty rainbow. Hmm. Mm. Now that looks more like an eating that, size that there as a 12 inch. Yes, well there you go. Thank you, Pops, for catching oh, well, lunch for us finally. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow trout are so pretty. Isn't that beautiful. Wow. Cool. All right. Well, my friends, it's time to cook. I don't know about you, Pops, but I am oh. weak with hunger. So ready. Oh, I've been, I've been, I kept going and going, hoping that we catch a second trout, and uh, it just hasn't happened. So, got to cook what we got. I've got some sides as well, you know. So long as your strength. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Somebody has to keep chunking and winding. Well, I'm surprised that trout is still alive. We got some hardy trout in here. Oh, I got him. Got him? Yep, got me a fish. Ooh, that's a nice bass. Hey, so that's a nice. We need a net. Oh. That's a good one. He'll... Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, oh nice. nice. Look at that on a chatterbait in the that. top of the tree. Nice. Very nice, Pops. That's a fun bonus fish. Let's eat him. <laughs> no, just kidding. Wow. <laughs> Guys, we're on a tournament lake. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it's sweet. There we go. All right, put her back mm -hmm. in. Huh? That's a nice looking fish. We're in a tournament. Be happy. Yes, indeed. Cool. <laughs> Alright guys, I was just about to start filleting the trout. Actually, I'm not going to fillet. We're just going to gut it. I'm going to gut your trout cook at whole. Is that alright? 
We'll put them on a bed of mashed potatoes. There we go. Pretty trout. Oh, wait, you know what? I almost forgot, guys. Almost forgot that little, uh, big old creek chub we got here. All right, my friends. The clouds have come over, which makes it so nice for cooking. Um, it's a nice, like, cool day compared to what it's been. So that's going to be nice. Got the trout filleted creek chub filleted and we have the um the fillets from the spotted bass and then i'm excited to try this for the first time i've never done instant potatoes these are genuine idaho potatoes made with 100 percent real idaho trademark potatoes perfectly blended with real butter and all i have to do is mix in some hot water and then have some green beans for a side as well. So a we'll fish, green beans, and we'll put it all together on a nice platter. Oh, and Pops, uh, you don't know this yet, but we are going to try some Mountain House ice cream sandwiches. Um, yeah, these look wiggy, we'll see. And while the water's bowling, guys, as promised from Patrick, I'm gonna try his Greek style fish and seafood seasoning. It's very chunky, like big chunks in it. So that will be fun. And then he gave me another seasoning. This is just called Camp Mix Original. He says basically just um, hyped up salt. Salt that they added some other like uh, basic garlic and pepper to it. Thank you to everybody who sends me stuff. Not everything makes it in a video. I try to put as many things as possible. Y'all send me so much stuff though that sometimes I just, I just can't get to it all. Hmm. It's very fine powder. Wow. Dehydrated potatoes powdered up like that. Sweet. They said ent add entire pack to 16 ounces. And it's funny because a uh, bottle of water is about... Si it's 16.9 ounces, so I held back just a bit. Ooh, it's happening fast. Thickening up. Wow. Pops, that didn't take like two minutes for them to, that powder to turn into potatoes. Like perfect thick mashed potatoes there. We'll see how they actually taste, but the first step was certainly cool. Oh, schooling fish? Schooling fish, guys, right over here. Get them, Pops. Get them. Good fish? Okay. I can halt. Oh, he's got you snagged. Keep ten. I oh, I can still see your rod thumping. Let's get him over there. Oh yeah, yeah, he's still pulling. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, snapped. Shoot. Dang. Mm. There's ten pounder. Ten pounder. There's some big fish around here though. Mm. All right, guys, back to the cooking here. I got one more side to make. I clean this out as best I uh, could. Mmm, those potatoes. Good. Add a little water to the bottom. Gonna kind of steam these green beans. Actually, I have to wait for it to heat up first. Yeah, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna take a little of this camp mix, though. Sealed for freshness. Oh, they filled it up to the top. I'm gonna put some of this salt and pepper garlicky mix. Oh, it has onion in it too. Oh man, they got the, all the good stuff. That'll be good on some green beans. Alright, add some of those. Put the lid on. Let them kind of steam for a few minutes. Actually, about five minutes or so. I'm going to pre-butter the frying pan for the fish. Looking good. Yeah, I got a little seasoning on them. We can season them to season them to taste once they come out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sweet, perfect. They're still al dente, I think is the word, but they're not mushy. They're not hard, but they're not mushy. They're right in the middle, which I believe the word is al dente, but I'm not French. All right, my friends, our buttered pan. Cook the old spotted bass first. Fish and seafood seasoning. Bam. 
actually we'll probably just put most of it in there. Creek chub. Oops, I think I think I made a mistake, folks. Oh, creek chubs have big scales. And I did not scale him. <laughs> While the other stuff is cooking. You know what? Move over, creatures. We're going to cook all of these at once. All of them at once. And all of them in this Greek seasoning. Sent to me by Patrick. Yeah, I don't think there's near enough butter in here. Let's just get a big old dollop and just put it right on top. I almost can't have too much butter with fish. I've been doing something too, folks, lately. I'll just add this little bottle. The olive oil just barely drips out. I'll just add a little olive oil to the fish and stuff, and it helps the butter not burn. It just adds the overall flavor. I like it. Alright, just add the fish to the top. Oh, one side is looking very well. And I'm gonna add, I want this side to have just a little bit of blacken on it too, so I'm gonna add that one back. Oops. Alright, the creek chub may have gotten a little out of control there, I, I admit. Um, that's not too bad of blackening though. Alright. So we got trout for this person and uh, creek chub. It's hard. Look at the smoke coming off. It's hard cooking outdoors because the wind will blow one second, be blowing most of your heat away. And then the wind stops, like now it's all calm, and then it heats up super fast. But everything turned out pretty, pretty good. Uh, maybe slow, a few slight more black marks than I care for, but it will still taste good. Let's see here. Couple plastic forks. Pops, we are ready. I am starving myself. Man, this looks good. Mm. And then we got dessert too. We'll oh try that word. weird. <laughs> well, hey, I'm hungry. That sounds <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, this is a good, as good a day as any to try. Should we pray real yeah, quick? Let's do that. Thank you so much, Lord God, for this food, this beautiful day together. And just ask you to bless this food to our bodies now. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. So we got wow. the trout. I think. Yeah, we'll try the sides first, but we need to give this creek okay. chub a try to let people know if they're worth keeping or not. I don't have mashed potatoes. Yeah. I did not add anything to them. No way. That, this is just how they... Yeah, I mean, they put butter in them, they say, said. There's butter in them. Oh, my mm -hmm. word. That's good. Unless they're mm. growing potatoes with butter, you know. I'm going to be now. Mmm. Oh, man. Okay, like, did those not turn out fabulous? Mm -hmm. Like, I want they're a the perfect... On it. They do need a little salt. And that stuff should wow. be perfect because it's like two different kinds of salt, some pepper and garlic powder and onion powder. Mm -hmm. Man. That should be good. All right. Man, oh man. Cheers. Cheers. That's fun. All right. Mm -hmm. Got to try the creek chub. All right. Now, he is a little crispy, I admit. It doesn't look like, it looks like there's scales on it. Peel the skin you know, I'm going to peel the skin off with the scales there just to. Yeah, because those... Oh, look, he's full of bones. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, you got the back strap. Maybe. Maybe it'll be bones. Look at all the bones in there. Wow. Mm. You know, that's basically why, because it's not like carp and sucker aren't good. They're just yeah, so... a tasty fish, actually. That's yeah, it funny. actually tastes good. But, guys, there are just tons mm -hmm. of little bones in this thing. But the, the thing about it is that the bones aren't... Um, it, it's a small enough fish. The bones are small enough where they yeah, don't... Yeah, you, you can just eat them. Uh, 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 like, it actually has, a, like, not a... Not a bad flavor. Flavor, but like I keep getting bones in every yeah. bite. Creek yeah. chub. If I were really hungry, mm -hmm. I'd go for it. Survival. Especially, yeah, exactly. But like, there's a bone there. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, I want to try this trout, trout, man. All right. It's a fresh trout. Just pulled out of the mm -hmm. river. That river was nice and crisp and cold too. Yes, and cold. Cheers. Here you go. Mm, right away, I like that black and. Oh my. What are you gonna have for? <laughs> <laughs> you know. On that side more. of it, it needs more of this. Mm -hmm. We're not really getting the flavor mm -hmm. of this it, oh, Italian seasoning. There, I want to. I want to really taste it. What is that oh, flavor? I've had it before on something. It's like it's lemony. Yeah, I was just gonna say there's a citrus or lemon. Yeah, like a citrus lemon flavor to it. Oh, it has lemon peel in it. Yeah, lemon yeah. juice powder and lemon peel. That's the fresh. I was like, this is kind of a a very fresh flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Patrick. 
it's the lemon. So this spotted bass. Oh. Mm. How to ruin. We just drifted right into this tree. Oh man. How to ruin fishing rods. Shoot. Mm -mm. That spotted bass is good. Mm. Isn't it? Like, guys. It's better than the trout. I can't believe I'm like saying the, out of I don't know what it is about spotted bass, but they're really good. Yeah. They're, they're better than largemouth. Better than smallmouth. They are just tasty, tasty fish. I don't know about you, but I think the thing that surprised me most about the meal was how good the potatoes were. Oh, like, right out of the bag. That's yeah. crazy. Like instant potatoes. Mwah. The thing about that, too, is for like for food storage. Last, mm, food storage, forever. if you guys are kind mm -hmm. of prepper types. Yep. Highly recommend uh, dehydrated potatoes. And speaking of dehydrated things, <laughs> oh my. I don't even know what they look. Look at that! It looks just like an ice cream sandwich wrapped up, huh? Mine too. All right. Oh. Oh, they're very crumbly. Oh yes. What the? Oh my! I'm gonna have to take a little bite, bit of it. They here. are it's like dehydrated ice cream. Now, do we have to have water with them or anything, or just eat them just like? No, that? it said ready to eat. Let me make sure. This is so weird to me. All right, here we go. All right, here, here's. Okay. They're really hard. Oh, weird. They smell like ice cream sandwiches. Well, the cookie part right away, bang! That tastes like an ice cream sandwich. Th get this. The this thing, the, the trouble with it, I don't know how old it is, but I mean, it's just all. Yeah. I, and I was careful. I mean, it's not like I. Mm -hmm. so. Mine's a little more intact. Oh, but. yeah, I guess. Okay, so here we go. We'll put a little, <laughs> a little something together here. Put that on top. And oops, the flavor's go. not bad. It's it's the dry, eating like dried ice cream, which is kind of bizarre. Well. Oh. It's like eating a potato chip that tastes like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, a potato mm. chip. It, it's, I don't know that I'd take a bunch of them all, all over the place for uh -huh. dessert, but it's kind of fun, actually. It's kind of strange. You know, yeah. we probably should put them on ice. Mm. Maybe that would help. <laughs> there is something very strange about wrong. this. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, wrong about this, because you're eating this, this ice cream burst of flavor in your mouth, but it's a chalk consistency. No. I'm definitely not going to get them again. No, but, no, no. I mean they're just they're fun for the novelty to me. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, there's another catch and cook in the books. If you guys want to check out more food videos, check out my dad's channel. I'll link it down in the description. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.